Well, 2023 is a milestone year for hip hop. The musical genre celebrates its 50th anniversary. I talked to Fonte Coleman of the rap group Little Brother about North Carolina's influence on hip hop and how the duo is commemorating its own milestone. For five decades, hip hop has been the soundtrack for generations of people. Pooh and I, when we first started, you know, this area was, um, it was really, it was kind of unheard of in a lot of ways for someone to come from North Carolina to make it to a major label. Fonte uh, Coleman is one half of the rap duo Little Brother. The group formed at North Carolina Central University in the late 90s. This year marks two decades since they dropped their first album. This past week, Little Brother and radio personality Brian Dawson accepted a proclamation from Durham City Council honoring hip hop's 50th anniversary. Talk about the history, man, of, of and the impact, rather, of, of North Carolina. So if we're going to talk North Carolina hip hop, I got to go back. Uh, first and foremost, I got to give a shout out to Payroll Records out of Greensboro, North Carolina. They were probably the first crew that I saw uh, really making dope music. I mean, and these are records I was hearing like eight, nine years old. So the Busy Boys, uh, Payroll Records. Um, also, we had uh, Omniscience, who was an artist. He was out of Bear Creek. Early 2000s, you know, we had Tafu, big ups to them, out of uh, Chapel Hill. Um, of course, you know, Petey Pablo, he was probably like the first, um, like he was really our delegate. He was the first one to just, you know, have that big national attention. Fonte says outside of the artists here, North Carolina has a unique sound. When people would ask us why, you know, Little Brother doesn't sound, y'all don't sound like a typical Southern group. My thing was, well, this is what the South sounds like to us. This represents our South. I grew up in Greensboro. It's a college town, you know what I'm saying? So there was always traffic up and down 95. So you had cats from New York and Jersey coming down, going to school, bringing their music, bringing the Ron G mixtapes. You had people coming from DC, bringing Go-Go. You know, it, this was always for us. And in my youth growing up, it was always a melting pot. And Little Brother has events planned soon to celebrate uh, 20 years as a group. Now, in August, the Friends of the City of Raleigh Museum will host a series of events commemorating and honoring hip-hop's 50th anniversary.